Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Witchstone, but before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel, so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are, and if you've done that, folks, then welcome to the Witchstone itself. It's a big crystal ball that shows all the potential energy connection between all the places of the land, and in the game of Witchstone, we are witches and wizards who are trying to control the Witchstone to score lots of points. Now I'm going to show you how we're staying in a two-player run-through. I am the green player. Jen is the blue player. Each of us has a cauldron that we are going to be bubbling and bubbling and toiling and troubling in. And before we get going, uh, we have to do a one last little bit of setup. There's a whole bunch of objectives out here. There are some different special hex tiles over here that we can add to our cauldron. And uh, most importantly, in reverse turn order, so since I'm the first player, first of all, Jen will get to put her witch on any of the towers, and that will determine where where she's starting her vying for control over the Witchstone, and it also means she'll get a bonus action depending on where she goes. So does she want to get a scroll, or come over here and get a scroll, come over here and do a pentagram action, or over here and do an energy action? I think Jen likes scrolls. She's going to just come over here. Alrighty. So, she has claimed this as her tower. And she gets to immediately use this scroll. And whenever you uh, get witches on the board and, and you know claim spaces, you also get two points. There's a little reminder of that right there. As you spread more and more of your witches out, you're going to get more and more points by claiming more of this territory. But anyway, Jen gets to do a scroll action right now. This is a level one scroll action because she's only got one scroll. And you can see there's all these scrolls over here. Because it's level one, she doesn't get to choose. She takes this one. If she was doing a level three scroll action, a more powerful one, she could pick number one, number two, or number three. If she was doing a super powerful level six action, she could take any of these. But since she's doing a level one, this is what she gets. And now Jen has a goal. She can get three, five, or seven points at the end of the game for having three four or five of the crystals removed from her cauldron and put over here on the shelves. So this is something Jen's going to be wanting to do. She's going to be wanting to do a lot of crystal actions to get this big payday. Anyway, so these all slide on over. A new one comes out. And uh, now I've got to pick a starting spot too. Boop, boop, boo. Where am I going to go? Well, I could also do a scroll thing. Um, or an energy or pentagram. Let's... Let's say pure energy. All right. So I get two points for getting one of my witches on the board. I get to do an energy action right now. And again, it's a level one energy action. And then we put these face down to indicate they're used. At the end of the game, these will be worth two points. Every one of these chips you get is worth two points. So I'm going to do an energy action, which means I take one of these cool little energy connector dually thingies here. And I can start to build a network of connections from my tower to the surrounding areas of the countryside. And... I think it's kind of a no-brainer. I'm going to put it right here. Because this was a very tiny uh, connection. To, uh, this forest to this tower only required one energy connection. So just like that, I have completed a connection. Um, which means I get one point. There's a little reminder here. If you complete a one-stage connection, you get one point. If you complete a three-stage connection, you get six points. And a two-stage connection, you get three. So as you can see, I, mean, if I could have said, hey, I'm going to come over here. But then I don't get anything. But I'm one step closer to connecting my tower to this town over here as an example. But I'm just going to go straight over here. Boom. I've made the connection and I got one more point. I am in the lead. Yeehaw! Well, strictly thinking, I don't think witches or wizards say yeehaw, but that'll do. Now, I should say, by the way, these should both be standing up. Uh, to indicate that they have occupied these two spaces. But I'm just going to leave them lying down so you can see them a little bit better because the camera's overhead. Um, but that is actually important where they're standing up, standing down. I'll explain as I go. Anyway, though, so I've got my big witches, which is, uh, you know, laid out some groundwork. Jen's got herself a special objective. At the end of the game, I've got a the beginnings of a connection that I could go and start claiming other areas. And we're off. I am the first player. And what do you do on your turn? Well, there's a nice little summary right here. Uh, um, on your turn, you take one of the double helixes from behind your shield. I should say, everybody has a little shield that gives them reminders of really important stuff, like what types of environments there are all over the witch stone and when you get points and whatnot. The, all my um, hexes are supposed to be secret, supposed to be safe. No one is supposed to know what I've got, but I don't need to do that. You guys can just go on ahead and see what I'm doing. I've knocked all my crystals all around. Oh, no. All right, so I'm going to pick any one of these... 
and uh, I am going to add it to my cauldron. Bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. And, and when I do that, the two actions that are on those hexes are going to be the two actions I do on this turn. And then my turn is over. And uh, then Jen's going to do the same. And then I'm going to do the same. We're going to have 11 rounds. We are going to be filling up our cauldrons with all kinds of hexes and trying to trigger those actions to the best of our ability. So, and after 11 rounds, the game ends and we score for various and sundry things. Alrighty, so let's get going. What am I going to do first? Well, interestingly... Since I've now made a road from my tower to this nearby village where if I could get over here, there are three victory points to be had, and points win you the game, maybe I want to do a witch action. You can see this tile or this tile will let me do a witch action, and a witch action means one of two things. Either get some of my little baby witches on the board, or, if they're already on the board, move them around from area to area so I can claim the spaces. So, how about we start with that, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Okay, yeah. Let's say, oh, okay, I'm going to do a witch action. Do I want to use this one, which means I'll also get to do a scroll action like Jen did? Or this one, which will also let me do an energy action? So, I'm going to pick one of those two. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with this one. All right. So... And I'll explain why in a second. So I've got this. I am going to do, at the very least, a level 1 Witch and a level 1 Energy. But depending on how this gets laid out, they could be better. Because what I'm going to do here is, I am going to put this tile like this. Okay. And so, I'm now going to do a level 1 Energy action and a level 2 Witch action. Because you can see, there are already, there's a Witch action, a Crystal action, a Wand action, a Scroll action, etc., etc. on the board. Um, this is going to be a double action. Later on, if I take this tile and, say, put it over here like this, then I'd get to do a scroll action and a triple witch action. So you can start to see how placement is really important. What I'm thinking is, if I do this on my next turn, I could, say, do a crystal and energy action. And if I put it here like this, I get a double crystal action and a double energy action. So I'm starting to build up combo change right out of the gate. So anyway... Let's go on ahead and do this. Let's do, and I could do this in the I could do the crystal and then the witch, or the witch and then the crystal. Let's do the uh, energy action first. I'm sorry, I said crystal, I meant energy. Which means it's only a level one, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to expand my network again. So, um, I could, you know, jump into this space, this space, this space, or this space, or this space, because again, I already, I own this tower, it's mine, so I could expand from there. But since I've already connected to here, I could also, uh, you know, extend over here or over here. And I got to be thinking about where do I want to start building my network of, uh, of stuff, of stuff, of stuff. Hmm... Well, one thing I could take into account is the scrolls that are on offer. There's two types of scrolls. Ones like what Jen got that give you an objective for bonus points at the end of the game, and other ones that will supplement and make more powerful existing actions. Like if I had this, instead of only doing a level 2 witch action, I could play it and do a level 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. If I had that one. Of course, I don't. But if I look into the future, this is an objective I could do, which basically gives me three, five, or seven points if I can get more and more connected lines out to the villages. So that's interesting. If I could get this later, that means I would very much like to be connected to this village right here and this village right here. So how about I start working about that? How about I head southeast south? I'm going to go here. So, that was my single energy action I got to do. But now, I get to do a double witch action. And I already mentioned this. Every When I'm doing multiple witch actions, every one of my witch points can be spent either deploying the little witches out onto my starting tower or moving ones I've already deployed. So, I'm going to, for my first of my two witch actions, I'm going to deploy this one over here. And now, remember, um, again, they're supposed to be standing up because when they're lying down, that means they can't move anymore. I'm kind of doing the opposite thing. I'm deploying this here, and um, then I am going to send it over here for my second witch action, and I'm going to stand her up to say that I basically claim this space. Again, it's supposed to be the other way around. Eh, maybe I should just do this correctly. Okay, let's just do this correctly. 
Uh, camera angles be damned. All right, so my first action was, you know, my big witches have already claimed these towers. My first witch action, I put a baby one out there. And for my second witch action, I'll stand her up and have her go walk over here into the forest, whereupon I have collected this chip. This chip is worth three points. One, two, three. Remember, every time you get a new standing witch in um, a zone, you get two more points. I just got two more points. Woohoo! I just made five points. All righty. And... This is worth two more points at the end of the game. All right, so I just made a lot of points, but more importantly, I'm starting to try to build a network of energy so I could get a network of uh, witches all over the place. But remember, I want to get one, two, and either three or number four. I want to get these villages connected to my tower, and I want to snag this so I get bonus points. All right, so that was my first turn. Oh, and at the end of my turn, of course... I spent a uh, tile. I get a replacement. It's an energy scroll. All right. Now it is Jen's turn. And what is she going to do? Well, we know she wants to start getting these crystals out of her cauldron. Because if you can get them excised, that gives you bonus actions. And even more bonus actions. You can put them on the shelves. And remember, Jen needs to get three, um, four, or five, at least, uh, ideally, at least five of her crystals. Five of her six, or... Um, seven crystals, or actually her six crystals, her six colored crystals, out of her cauldron and onto the shelf so she can score a bunch of bonus points at the end of the game. So that means she'd probably like to do a crystal action. She has one tile that's going to let her do this. This is going to be a, a crystal and energy action. So if she were going to do that, she'd probably... Hmm. <laughs> All right, so she's going to put it over here somehow. Now, one thing, the crystals that you have on the board, and by the way, where is one of Jen's crystals? Jen is missing. Oh, right. I just did that as an example. These crystals, as long as they're in your cauldron, they block your ability to place these tiles. So they're kind of annoying, which is why Jen is excited to start doing the uh, uh, crystal actions, not only for a secret goal, but just to make it easier to do stuff. So, but this is going to be energy. Um, it's going to be tough to say, hey, I'm going to do a double crystal and energy that could then lead to another energy way over there. None of her other tiles have energy, so it's not like she could set up like I did in the future for I, I can have like a nice little multiple thing combo. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and place this like this, trying to get this energy maybe over there. Um, we'll see how it goes. She can't go like this, though, because that's in the way. She could go like this, and you know, eventually maybe she'll get a magic wand energy one and put them over there and do a double. But no, she'll just go like this. All right. So now Jen's going to do a double crystal and an energy action. And again, let's do that energy action first, because it'll probably be a really simple thing. Jen's best goal... Just do a little single right here. She can now go get herself another scroll if she gets a witch over here. And because she just made a complete size one connection, she gets one point. All right, so Jen just scored a point. Hooray. And she'll be able to get some witches out and go collect this for another scroll later on. But now, more importantly, she's going to do a double crystal action. What that means is she can move her crystals around from space to space. And what she's trying to do is get them moved onto the brim of her cauldron. Because if she can move them onto any of these particular spaces, she will get a bonus action that matches what the space is. So, I think Jen is going to... She has a double. She's going to pick this one. She's going to move it. And then she's going to move it again. Okay. And now, by doing that, Jen has a lot more space she can build in this area because she's gotten this out of the way. And if she can do one more crystal action later on, she could move this like this, and that would trigger this bonus, which would be a bonus crystal action. So, and remember, Jen wants to do lots of crystal actions, so she can uh, pursue this. So anyway, so start here. She went one, two. It is almost off. She could have gone one, two as well. You can move over your existing tiles. They don't block you or anything. And uh, anyway, so Jen is getting ready to trigger that, but that was it for her turn. She grabs another tile, and it is a wand hex action, not a crystal. So unfortunately, boom, Jen is not going to be able to do any more crystal actions for a while. Not unless she unlocks some kind of bonus, which she might want to do. But anyway, that was it for her. We are now back to me, back to my turn. And remember, I already talked about what I was going to do. I had this nice a little who's he, what's it? I will go like this. Boom. I get to do a double energy and a double crystal action. Nice, nice, nice. You have to finish one before you do the other. Let's do the double energy. Now, because I've already got a road that I'm working on, I have to finish this one before I can start another. I can't say, oh, I'm going to go do this one, boom, boom, and move over here. I can't do that. 
So first of all, I'll do this one. That's one. And hey, I just made a size two that got me three points. One, two, three. And now that I've completed this road and I could get witches over to this village, hooray, I um, can start working on another. Let's, I want to, remember, I'm, I'm eyeballing in the long term trying to get this, which wants me to have me getting all of my... Uh, Village is connected. So I could go like this, which you can only do one more. But if I go like this and get two more, I'll connect to this village. And I'll get six points instead of three points. So yeah, how about I start working on this? Now when I get to, uh, when I do another double energy, I'll be able to connect this. And I'll have... I mean, not that it does me any good, but I'll have two of the villages connected to my tower. Which means right off the bat, if I can get this scroll, it'll be worth at least five points to me. So that's something. All right. So... I did the double energy. All right, and now I'm going to do a double crystal, just like Jen did. Although I have, I mean, I, I could pick one. I, I could uh, spread that uh, to, um, that movement uh, across a couple. Okay, and I have no idea what's going on now because, probably unbeknownst to you, I just paused because my wife was standing in the doorway just looking at me and kind of freaking me out. And I paused and asked her, and she said, oh, FedEx is here. They, they're doing the freight because I'm sending 150 games to the Dice Tower West convention library and I had to sign in a bunch of stuff oh boy okay so I believe it was my turn yes I had just done the double energy and I was gonna do a double crystal thing right 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 so where am I gonna move my crystals I you know I could pick any one of these and start working to the outer edge to try to get a bonus or I could go for this one this one's interesting because if I get it all the way out to the outer edge I get to do a double of whatever the action is but of course I have to move it farther um Let's see. What was, what was my thing? What am I going for? Oh, I'm just trying to do a lot more energy to connect stuff. But I'd like to do more witches as well. So if I start having like one of these over here, I could get to the witch. Or I could uh, try and start moving this one over here to get to the energy. But on the other hand, this is where I've already been building. So it might be good to move these out of the way so I can start building and try to get a bit, you know, do bigger and bigger witch actions. So how about we just take this one and we have it go one, two. It's almost out, which means I'm almost about to get to do a uh, bonus witch action, etc., etc. But we'll worry about that. And I am done. I draw another one. And it is Jen's turnly, turnly turn. And what's she going to do? Well, she's not going to be doing any crystal stuff for a while because she didn't get any crystals. So does she want to do a witch pentagram, a pentagram scroll, a scroll wand, a wand witch, or a pentagram wand? Hmm. Well, she does have a nice combo of uh, pentagram witch and pentagram scroll. She would like to do some more scroll stuff. And if she does a witch thing to get... Ooh. Yeah, okay. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. She is going to do a double witch and then single pentagram action. Right. Let's do the pentagram action first because it's really simple. You can see there's a pentagram over here. And each of us has one of our little owls on it. Jen is going to... Because she did a single pentagram, she's going to move one step. Which is boring. But if she can move two more steps, she will get this bonus tile. And then if she moves two more steps, she'll get seven points. And then this bonus tile. And you can keep on... The more you do the pentagram, the more of these tiles you pick up that can make you very, very powerful. And uh, so Jen's going to start working on those with the pentagram action. But she really wanted... Was was the double witch action. So she's going to bring one of her baby witches over here. And then, for that was her first action. For her second action, she's going to stand up and walk over here. And they do. So uh, Jen's kind of doing the opposite of me over there. She gets two points for getting a witch located on a spot. And um, she now has this. She could use this right now. She can use this on any turn when she is doing a witch action. Hmm. Huh. And so she's doing witch actions right now. That's what she's doing. So she could use this. This would be a level one, which means she would get this. Which means she could use this to increase a future witch action. These can't be used to initiate a witch action by themselves. Uh, they can only increase existing ones. Jen would rather have this one, though. So I think she doesn't have to use this right now. She's going to wait. She's, you know, maybe something will take this, and then this will come. And then on a future turn when she does a witch action, she can spend it and grab it. Uh, when the grabbing is good. So she's not going to use that right now. It's going to be worth two points at the end of the game, whether she uses it or not. But she's going to wait, because this is not necessarily what she wants. All right. So that was it. She gets another tile. And yay, more crystal actions. That's what she likes to see. Back to me. Okay. And what was I trying to do? Oh, my gosh. Uh, right. Because uh, all the downtime between... Oh, I was going to finish this road so I could connect, because I'm ultimately trying to get that over there. Which means... 
I could, well, which means I need to do at least a double energy action. And I've got this, which would do an energy and a scroll. Now I can put these anywhere, but if all possible, I want to put them in ways that will get me more bonuses, uh, which I think is what I'm going to do. I will go on ahead and put this like this. And so I'm going to get to do a single scroll action and a triple energy. Let's do that single scroll action. Boom. And Jen's very happy because what she wants just fell into her lap. All right. So this is something I can use on a, on a future turn. When I'm already doing witch actions, I can make them two points better. Okay. So I've got that. Hoorah. And, um, all right. So that was me doing the scroll action. Now I get to do three energy. One, two, three. So first of all, I must finish this little road I'm working on. So there's one, two. And because I finished a, a length three, that's six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I can start extending again. Let's just go, um, let's go right to the heart of the board. Uh, you know, the witch stone itself. Uh, because the first player to get a witch into this area doesn't get a chip that does bonuses. Just gets five points and then three and then two and then one for getting more of these spaces here. Okay. So that was it for me. I did a triple energy. I'm starting to work on that connection. I got myself a better witch action for the future. And at the end of my turn, I will give myself another tile. There we go. Boom. Okay, it is Jen's turn. And she can do another crystal action again, which she's very happy about. And if she, say, goes like this, she could potentially start doing some big magic wands over there by um, connecting them up. So that works pretty nice. So Jen is going to do a single magic wand action and a triple crystal. Let's do the magic wand first, because it's simple. It's super easy. Um, in the same way that Jen has started working her way around the pentagram, she's going to start working her way up the big magic wand track. And unfortunately, her first step does nothing for her. But the next step she takes uh, on here will let her do a crystal action, which, as you recall, is something Jen very much wants to do. She wants to be doing crystal actions like crazy. And there's an extra thing. You notice there's a little times two. If you are in the lead, if you are the furthest player along the magic wand track, when you hit any of these uh, steps, you get to double the benefits of them. So, Jen, uh, next time Jen moves forward, she will get to, as long as I don't uh, get ahead of her, she'll be able to do a double crystal action. So, that was that, but more importantly, Jen now gets to do one, two, three crystal actions. Her first one will be to move this one here. And now, here's the deal, folks. We have to remember, she has two more crystal actions right now. But she's going to interrupt this to do this bonus crystal action here. And it's interesting, the game, actually, if you look on the other side of the player aid that reminds you what crystal and witch and pentagram, crystal, wand, and energy actions are, on the other side, there's a reminder of setup in the course of the play. And there's also this little thing, which you use. Each player has a little token they can use. It's their familiar. You can use this to keep track of how how many actions you get to do. Jen got to do three, right? She's already done one, so this is a reminder that she has two more crystal actions she's going to do. But she's going to put this on hold for a second because she just moved this off the board, which means this crystal is going home. Um, she's cleared out more. She'll be able to expand more. There's crystals aren't in her way. And she has a choice. When you get a crystal off the board, you either put it on the shelf that matches what you did. In this case, Jen would put this on the crystal shelf. Uh, and what that means is she would immediately get to do two more crystal actions. Or she can put it on this shelf down here. And this shelf means she could take any of these bonus tiles. And um, so that could give her, I mean, it's only a single action. Coming up here is a double crystal action, but maybe she doesn't want to do crystal actions, in which case maybe she's come down here so she could do a single witch action later, as an example. So, but anyway, yeah, Jen is, as you might imagine, she's definitely going to do a double, and now she has got one of the five crystals she wants to get on the shelf to get her bonus seven points. And she's doing two crystal actions right now, so we got to come back over to her cauldron, and what is she going to do? Um... And remember, she's still got two more crystal actions after this. So really, Jen has four crystal actions to do right now if she needs to keep track of them. Alrighty, so where is she going to go next? Well, if she moves this one, one, two, three, she could do a witch action right away. Uh, it would just be a single. It would you know, get another witch on the board waiting to walk around, as an example. Or she could come out here and do another magic wand action, which would give her... Oh my gosh, let's do this. Alright, so Jen's got four more. She's going to spend one, two, 
And again, these turns can get complex. I'll show Mark. She did one, two. And this one comes off the board. Or I'm sorry, no, one, two, three. Right? Is that what I want to do? Yes. One, two, three. So she has one more crystal action left, but she's going to stop. She's going to put this over on another shelf. She's going to put this on the magic wand shelf, which says she gets to move forward two, one, two. This just gave her two more crystals. One, two. So Jen's back up to three crystal actions now again. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is going crazy. Okay. So Jen's now got three more to spend over here. One, two, three, which is enough to trigger one more new action. Um, let's see. Does she want to trigger a witch action with this one or another... Uh, magic wand. Actually, it'd be kind of nice. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Jen is going to go... She has what? She has four more now? See, this is why it is so important to keep track. I think I've been keeping this up to date. I think she has three more. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let's go with it. All right. So Jen is going to... She would like to, uh, you know, to make this investment in pentagrams pay off. So she's going to have this one go. Her last three... One, two, three. It's come off of her cauldron and comes over here. Now remember, Jen could take any one of these, but she'd rather do a double pentagram action. And just like that, Jen has now got three of her crystals on the shelves. She's got at least three bonus points at the end of the game, but she's not done until she gets at least five of her crystals on the shelf to get seven. All right, anyway, Jen gets to do now a double pentagram action, which means she'll go one, two. And just like that, boom, she's hit this. She has unlocked one. Oops, I'm sorry, folks. She didn't get to see the pentagram. She just went one, two, and boom, she got this. Now, every time you get one of these special hex tiles, you have a choice. You can either immediately do one of the two actions. So Jen could do another crystal action now if she wanted, or she could do a witch action. Now, and if she does that, she just pretty much tosses it. But instead, you can install it on your cauldron, which means it will do nothing for you immediately, but it can combine with stuff later. And so if Jen... Oh, oh, this is heartbreaking. Because look, Jim was thinking, oh, look, my crystal's over here, my witch is over here. She should do something like this. Yes, yeah, she could still do this. Now, what this means is the next time she does a crystal action, say she puts a crystal right here, it'll be a one, two, three, four, five. She could do a, and, and the next time she does a witch action, if she puts a witch right here, it'll be a one, two, three, four. Four. So this could now, um, you know, continue to give her bonus crystal and bonus wish actions as long as she continues to expand those two. Or she could just take it, trash it into a single right now. She's going to do that. And now the thing is, to be able to put a witch in this space, she's got to move this crystal out of the way. But that's kind of her thing, moving crystals. So, boom, that was it. So far, I've scored a lot of points, but Jen has done a bunch of other stuff. Oh, by the way, another one of these special tiles comes out. It is a wand slash scroll. And so Jen is working her way up this. She's working her way up that. She's already got seven or three more points than it looks like. And um, boom, that was it. She takes another tile. And um, all right. And then also she's got a bonus scroll she can do whenever she wants. She has to wait till she's doing another witch action, at which point she can get this scroll that will get her even more crystal actions. So Jen is definitely planning before the game is over to have all four of these crystals off the board over here, triggering all kinds of combo stuff. All right, but in the meantime, what am I doing? I think I would like to do some more energy. I'd like to do some more witch stuff. I've got one energy, but that's going to combine with the... It's going to give me a single step on that. That's not particularly exciting. But on the flip side, it'll be a one, two, three, four energy. I could do a four energy, which means I could get a lot more roads, and I'm getting points for just connecting all this stuff. So that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let's do that. Let's do that. Where am I going to put this? Let's go on ahead and put it like this. I'm going to thread the needle between my crystals that I've got that are clogging the space up. And so eventually I'll be able to maybe do a triple wand action by putting something right there. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to do a single wand action, which again, not too exciting. And then I'm going to do a quadruple energy action. One, two, three, four. All right, so first of all, I have to finish this road which was a size two that got me three points. One, two, three. And now I can continue making a whole new road. What the heck? Let's go big. Let's go biggity big. Let's go one, two, three, which just gave me six more points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now if I do some more witch actions, I can bring them in here and then move them along to get to the witch stone to get me points or to get over here to get me points. And um, so I am really starting to lay claim on the world. Okay. So, that was that. 
And then we've got another one of these. These are the timer for the game, for the game, by the way. Once all of these have been taken and one and the last one gets used, we won't have used all our tiles. If I recall correctly, we have four left over that we didn't end up using to take 11 turns over the course of the game. So you can see time is passing as we keep going. All right, so anyway, so that was it for me. It is Jen's turn. Is she going to do another crate? Well, nope, she does not have any. She can't trigger any crystal actions right now. It would be good to maybe get another, a, a triple pentagram action. So that could be a pentagram. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. Jen gets a single scroll. She didn't even have to use her scroll token. She can keep saving those up and maybe do a, a bigger, fatter one later on. So anyway, so Jen now can make a stronger crystal action later. And she's doing a triple pentagram, which is one, two, three. And just like that, Jen scored seven points. Boom. Okay. Although you don't score those until the end of the game. So, um, you know, Jen's doing better than it looks. But anyway, so that was that. She draws another one. And, uh, oh, Crystal Scroll. Crystal Scroll. Okay. Back to me. I would like to start taking advantage of all these roads I've built. Oh, by the way, oh, this should have slid over. And so this is something I got to pay attention to as well. I mean, Jen can see that I'm going. I'm trying to connect to all the villages. She could snag this with no intention of doing it other than just to prevent me from being able to get upwards of seven points off of this. If you end up getting one of these, even if you achieve nothing, you still get one point. So Jen could take one point to prevent me from getting seven points. So I've got to pay attention. Be now remember, I don't know what Jen's got. All of her stuff is behind a shield. I do know she's got this, though. Because uh, I saw her take it. So that's an important thing to bear in mind. Hmm. So should, it, should I be trying to make a jump for the scroll? It means I have to do a triple scroll action to be able to get this. Can I do that? I could do a double scroll action, which would let me do a bigger uh, magic wand later on. But no, I'm going to wait. Hopefully this one will go away. And then when this falls into the number two slot, then I'll do my double scroll action and snag it for my long-term goal. Which means in the meantime... What am I, what am I, what am I going to do? Uh, let's see, I could, uh, well, I mean, I'm kind of all about that pure energy. If I, if I put another one, that's one, two, three, four, five. I could do a fiver. And remember, I'm just getting points for connecting all this stuff. Now, here's an interesting thing. Let's just say I'd gone like this, right? Or, you know, as an example, I'm kind of going the long way around. Jen, currently, if she wanted to do more witch actions, she, uh, well, this has already been taken. She wouldn't be. She doesn't have any roads to take. But Jen, if she brings a witch out, her witches can follow my roads. It just costs more witch actions. I mean, me with one witch action, I can move one of my baby witches to anywhere, or anywhere along my path. Jen can use my roads, but she has to pay more to use them. So Jen might never build energy and just rely on mine eventually. Although I did not go to her tower, I stayed away from her tower, so she cannot benefit. Yeah, I really want to do that witch scroll right there. It's a it's a triple witch and it's a double scroll action, but I'll end up not getting the scroll I want. So I just got to wait just a little bit. Although, here's the thing. If I do a double scroll action, I don't have to take this. I could take this one. This isn't worth nothing. This is a point if I don't do it all, but instead it's three, five, or seven points for the more of the special hexes I got. Remember, Jen's already gotten one. I might intuit that Jen wants this because Jen has already started working the pentagram like crazy. And one of the reasons to do that is to get those special tiles. And there's a bonus for those special tiles right now. Maybe, maybe I should make a, I'm, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I can see what Jen's going for. Alrighty. So here we go. I'm getting to do a double scroll and then a triple witch. Let's do the double scroll first. You think I'd take this? Uh-uh. I'm taking that. And boom, that means the one I want is now within my reach for later. And Jen tries to hide a groan because she was totally going to grab this because she was working on getting those bonuses. All right, so that was that. I, I did a double, although I only used the single. And now I get to do a triple witch action. But don't forget, folks, anytime I want, I can spend this and upgrade a witch action. So this could be a five. And let's go on ahead and do that. Yes, indeed. So, um, one. although if I never use this at the end of the game, it would be worth two points. But I'm going to use it right now and have a big old level five witchy witcherson accent or action. So, first of all, let's have one, bring a little witch out. Two, have this... Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, oh, second. I think I'm going to need to keep track. This is going to be a complex turn. So, let's come over here, use my little familiar, which is a toad. I'm the green player. Alrighty, so I have used one... 
witch action to get that witch on the board. And now for my second witch action, well, because I've got all these roads anywhere, I can reach any of these things immediately uh, with just a single witch action. So my second witch action will be to wake her up, or him, I suppose, and uh, come over here to do a magic wand, come over here to do a pentagram, come over here to get three points, or come over here to get five points. Let's just go on ahead and be the first to... Or no, let's just go... Boom, look over here. And boom, I just collected this. This um, gets me one, two, three, plus two more at the end of the game. Plus, I've got a second witch who's occupied a space. That's two more points, which is listed up there. All right, so boom, 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 boom. You tally up all your owls at the end of the game. So that was my second. My third is going to be bringing another witch in. My fourth and fifth could be bringing more witches in, and then I could move them around later after I've made the roads I want to make. But... Let's just go on ahead and for my next one, wake you back up. Wake me up before you go, go. Leave me hanging on something, yo, yo. I don't remember the words. Um, let's see, I, I, I would definitely want to jump in here to get this five first, except Jen has shown no interest. So I don't think I have to worry about grabbing that. Uh, maybe. Well, heck, I've got a vested interest in doing the pentagram now. So how about I just have you rush over here? And give me this. Now remember, when you have these, you can only use them during witch actions. I'm going to use this right now to do a pentagram, which gets me one step closer to that bonus. And remember, I want to have at least two of those to get three more points. Okay. So, and then I've got one more, right? I believe so. So let's just go on ahead and bring her out here and we are done. That was my big turn. All right. Boom. I've got a lot of points and I'm starting to work on a bunch of stuff. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then I get another tile. And it's a pentagram slash uh, par uh, parchment scroll. There are an equal number of all of the different tokens on the board. But, I mean, remember, at the end of the game, there's going to be four of these tiles you didn't use. So that is part of the long-term planning, making sure you can do what you need to do right up until the very end. Okay, Jen's turn. Hey, does she want to do some more crystals? She kind of likes crystalling it up. Um, and she does need to get more of them off the board. This is her only way to crystal right now, and it combines with a scroll, and she was totally planning on snagging that. So she could return the favor because she knows I want this one, and this is just falling into her lap right now. Could she do it, though? Uh, yeah, probably, because she's going to do some big, super crazy... Right, so she'll go on ahead and do this, right? And that's a one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five, because of her little bonus. And so, and and then a single scroll. A single scroll. A single scroll. Right. Let's uh, let's put that scroll on hold for a little bit. Let's start doing the um the the five. What do you call it? Crystal moves that she gets to do. And remember, she wanted to move this one out of the way so that she'd be able to put a witch over here and you know take advantage of all that also. So let's see. So she's got. What, what did I say she had? She had, oh my gosh, there's so much. It's one, two, three, four, five. And then she still hasn't done her scroll yet. And you'll notice we have another little marker that you can use for other stuff. So I'm just going to use this as a reminder. Haven't done the scroll yet. Need to do, after we do all this really complex stuff. So how is she going to do this? She wants to move that out of the way, which would get her either to a scroll action or um, if she moves over there or a witch action or a... Um, uh, magic wand action. Now, her next step on the magic wand isn't that great. If she moves up again, this is saying, hey, she'll get points for every um, completed line she's done so far. She's done one completed line. Not a good time to be doing that. So I don't think she wants to do that. Does she want to do some witch actions? She hasn't done any energy, so witch actions aren't very exciting for her. So of her five for scroll actions, she's going to go one, two, or let's see, one, two, three. Right, so I've marked that, and just like that, Jen, well, she has a choice. She can do a double scroll now, or she could come down here and grab one of those, but she's going to do a double scroll. You know she's going to do a double scroll, and you know what she's going to take. She's going to take the one that I've been working the whole game for. And again, this is worth a point to her, even if she never gets any of those roads built, but she kept seven points for me the same way I did for her. All right, so, ouch, did he ouch? Yeah, ouch, ouch, ouch. All right. So as one, two, three, she's got two more scroll actions to do. She's cleared this up so she can fill in some more witch stuff over there. That's good. And um, 
two more is not going to get any of these off the board. But so she's, does she want to start working? Yeah, she'll just start going to her one, two to trigger another crystal action off of that over there. So those were her five crystal actions. Not as complicated as I thought it was going to be, but she's pretty happy. And now, oh, here's the interesting thing. I'm, she's kind of glad she waited on doing this scroll because the whole scroll situation has totally changed now. So she is doing a single scroll, which, oh, it still means she can take this one. So, um, in taking this one, she can uh, increase a magic wand action somewhere in the future, or she can get two points. And I believe she already used this one, didn't she? I'm pretty sure she did. Anyway, though, um, if, I, if, if, I, if not, I'm sure Apollo probably mentioned whether I should or shouldn't have. I'm pretty sure she did use this, so that was gone, and that's why I watched the thing on subtitles, because Apollo would have made that clear. So anyway, so Jen's got potentially two more points, or a really big magic wand action. And there's a lot of stuff you can get from the, pushing the magic wand as well. Alrighty, so Jen has pursued her crystal agenda again, and she didn't get a crystal action. I mean, if we look ahead, through process of elimination, we know there are two more tiles she's got. But, you know, I mean, she might get this right away, or, um, you know, I mean, eventually these all will come available to her. It's just a question of when. She gets access to all of them, but there's going to be a few she doesn't use before the game is up. All right, so anyway, so sliding on over again. bippity boppity flippity skippity doop boop boop All right, a double pentagram action. A lot of objective ones. This is an interesting one. This one is saying, have a big contiguous group of crystal actions. And as you can see, Jen already has one, two, three, four, five. Jen has already halfway completed this objective. If Jen can get this scroll, she's got five points in her back pocket. Boom. And will I notice that? Will I do something about that? Am I going to take another scroll? I've got two opportunities to take scrolls now. But now, because I've got this one, I want to start doing pentagram stuff. And I've got a bunch of opportunities to do pentagram stuff. So what should I do? Folks, I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the basics of Witchstone. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.